Chef Sawyer. I have a special guest, my sister. Hi! So are we making chocolate caramel marshmallow pops? Yes! So it's very easy, guys. You don't have to use the stove. All you need is the microwave and ingredients. Chocolate, dark chocolate if you want. Caramel. Caramel's delicious. And marshmallows. Big jumbo ones. And get some colorful straws or sticks to stick them to. All right, should we begin? Yes. All right, first thing we're doing is putting marshmallows on sticks. So we'll take a marshmallow. We have really fun sticks. You can get cake pop sticks, but we're just gonna use really fun straws. You put them on the marshmallows and they should stand on their own. Just put them on a plate. Wanna help me out there? If your straws seem too long, just cut them off. So after you're done deciding how many you want, we're gonna melt the caramels, but according to the bag. So my brother's gonna put one tablespoon of water into the caramels we unwrapped. And we need it, we need it in the microwave for one minute. We took it out of the microwave. Now stir it until it's nice and smooth. And then we took a plate and put some wax paper on it so the marshmallows don't stick. So we'll take the marshmallow, put it in the um, caramel, and put it on a plate. But don't do it all the way. We're just gonna do it until like, like this. So you can see the top has And you keep doing it. This is what they look like with the caramel. So we're gonna put those in the freezer. Yes, and then we're gonna melt the chocolate while they're in the freezer. Okay, I'll go put those in the freezer. And I'll get the chocolate out. Now it's time for the chocolates. Put it in a microwave safe bowl. And actually, if you wanna try one, try one. Yum. Here you go. Right. We melt them for about a minute. When the chocolate's melted, it's time to get the marshmallows out of the freezer. So we took them out of the freezer, and now it's time to dip them in chocolate. So we're gonna these are gonna be delicious, guys. So we're gonna take one of these marshmallows, dip them in the chocolates, and then we could decorate them with mini chocolate chips, graham crackers, sprinkles, or salt, um, sea salt. And I thought if you dip them with graham crackers, they'd be like marshmallow s'more pops. I thought those would be really cool. So we're gonna start dipping them in chocolates. This one in chocolate. And then I could take it Dip them. <laughs> A little messy, but this one's my s'more pop. This kind of looks like a donut because it has tons of sprinkles. Once you dip all your marshmallows, put them in the freezer to chill. They only take 10 minutes to chill and they're ready to eat. Let's dig in. This one's flat. It's just flat. It like came off easily, but this one's flat. It's oh. just flat with it's sprinkles. It's the one that I did all of them on. <laughs> now let's try. Mmm. Mmm. This 
tastes, this tastes like, so good. Mm, I actually want another one of these. I can taste the caramel and the chocolate and the marshmallow at the same time. Uh-huh. This mix is good. This is a great project for kids and families because we don't need the stove. That's it for us, guys. See you next time. Bye. Wait, did you subscribe? Well, if you didn't subscribe, no. If you, you need to bake these. These are delicious. Yes, they are. See you next time. Bye. If you like these, smash that like button. Today I'm making peanut butter cup peanut butter bars. So this is what you need. Guys, I'm Seth Sawyer and I'm gonna be showing you how to make Hershey bar brownies. Yeah.